I'm just giving me a little product review because I just got this thing and I want to make coffee with it but I'm skeptical that it's gonna brew too fast I got this at REI um, yeah and I'll show you how to use this in a second right now we gotta boil the water That's more like it. I have to clean the cup. Sweet. So we got our cup. This is your setup here. And it packs down super flat. And it's super light, like crazy light. And I love this because it's reusable and you don't have any of the paper filters. But check it, it just like clips on like that. Clips on, ready? Boop. Easy. And then it hangs down like that. It's essentially like all it is. Isn't that sweet? And it stays on really well. Oh yeah, I just cleaned that cup. Look, this is sweet. Um, yeah, it's epic. And I'm gonna put coffee in it. Coffee's right here. Just some ground coffee, nothing special. I put quite a bit of coffee in because this is like a one liter cup, so it's a really big cup. I filled it about, I don't know what you'd say. Is that like half full? I don't know. Yeah, about half full maybe. Now we're going to wait for the water to boil. Got the water boiling. And now all I do is... Pretty much, take the boiling water. Yeah, that's in the frame, okay. We can get it closer, so you can see. I take the boiling water and just dump it over the top. So this is like a pour over. And I'm just gonna let it soak a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna get it really close, dude. I don't know if you can see the drip. Maybe I can show you. Yeah, you kind of see the drip. Yeah, that's about it. And that's what it looks like in the top. So I just put the coffee in. And now I just keep pouring water in until it gets my coffee is full. That's essentially it. Easy money. Um, I'll taste the coffee and tell you what I think. Okay, y'all, this coffee filter is so easy to wash out. It is incredible. Just hold it under some water, rinse it, no dishwasher, nothing, and it's just super clean, and it's really quick. I mean, look at that. No grinds in there. Just hold it under some water. So smooth. Wow, and look at this color. This color is incredible on this coffee. Look at that little pour. Oh my God. Okay, you're probably gonna hate me for this because I can't taste the coffee because if you look, I'm editing the video and my video essentially has no sound to it. The last, the last one. So I had it, but now I'm gonna just tell you um, what I think about the coffee okay because my video didn't come out the coffee is very strong i might have put too many grinds in. well you know that's my fault i also like strong coffee that's why i put a bunch of grinds in 
what I notice when I pour my coffee is I got to pour the water right down the middle here. So if I pour the water down the middle, right onto all the coffee grounds, then it drips in slow. If I pour the water along the edges here, then it just pours right through the mesh and pours straight into the cup without ever hitting or soaking into the coffee grounds. So what I do is I pour water right down the middle and fill it so the water comes up to almost full and I let it slowly seep down and then I dump more water right down in the middle once it kind of drains out of here and then into the cup. So that's what I do. The coffee tastes good, kind of strong, and also it's maybe a little bit bitter. It's not like your Americano where you pull a shot and then add it to hot water, you know? It's just like drip coffee and you're backpacking, so you're having better coffee than if you use an instant pack. So I really like this and I'm gonna put that link in the description below, the link to REI. I want you to know that I am not getting paid promotion for this. This is all on my own and I'm not getting paid by REI. I'm not doing anything for them. Um, so yeah, this is just me recommending this coffee filter for backpackers if they want coffee or for car camping and you don't want to schlep all the extra stuff of the paper and all that good stuff and then so this is yeah reusable i like it and i would recommend it to people who enjoy real coffee out in the back country and just don't want instant coffee the whole time so yeah i would go to it's it's 10 bucks dude it's 10 bucks this thing here is 10 bucks just just you know it's not that hard to get and it's amazing and it's super light